Hello and welcome to this training video for Client Engager. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and edit all the pricing fields, equations, etc., to be able to use the pricing tool that we've now launched into our product. When we go to our clients, we've got Test Client Limited here. There's a new step which is called Step 2 Pricing Fields. In here, as I've showed you in the first video about how to add a client and how to price them, we've got a series of questions and answers. Most of these are drop down boxes, some of them can be on numbers, and we've got lots of other options as well, which I'll show you in the settings. The theory is that we answer all these questions, we then tell it what services we do and don't want to be turned on, and then that enables the Suggest Fees tool to be priced, to give us suggested fees for our pricing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we set this all up. So if you go to settings and go to our, bulk, our new features, which are custom form fields, including for pricing assistant. The first one, the built-in fields, for pricing assistant, these can be added to, but cannot be deleted because there are certain formulas and coding dependent on these. But the ones you can add and edit to as, until your heart's content is custom fields. You can delete sections, you can edit sections, you can add new sections. So simply just hit add section, test section. And these can go into four key areas. General information starts on the client information board. Pricing fields, which is the topic we're talking about today. AML checks, you could build out, for example, a, a series of questions on the AML check page that help you risk assess a client. And terms, so you could add the bookkeeper and accountant's name in the terms page that tell, so you know who is dealing with each client. I'm not gonna save that today, I'm just gonna press cancel. When we're on a client, we can hit drop down uh, hit the edit for the drop downs. You can rename, you can tell the system that it is a drop down, and you can add more drop downs, and then you can also set what the default state of this question is. So, this one is all about VAT frequency. How often do you file your VAT return for this client? Monthly, quarterly, annually, not VAT registered. To do then calculate what is going to happen. It the uses a numeric, numeric value as part of the calculation. I'll show you those calculations now so you understand where these sit in the whole scheme of things. When you go to your services, there's now a new section in services. In each service, you can now build your pricing assistant formula. This is a very simple concept that we can take from Excel where we have taken num certain field answers and times them by each other to get an answer. So we have said in this that the starting rate or the base rate as we like to call it for annual accounts on a monthly basis because we've got a default fee period here of monthly is 41.66. That is times by the AR, in this case annual revenue times by record type, that's what RT, RT stands for, times by turnaround time, times by trade, terms, times by record quality. You can add more fields by selecting any of the ones here, and any ones that you create will be added to here. And you can create your own equation. So some firms may just decide, actually, we're not gonna do any of this, we're just gonna take our base rate and times it by a multiplier determined by the annual revenue. So if we keep it simple for this example, we're saying it's £41.66 a month for annual accounts times by the multiplier that is set in the annual revenue field. So we're going to go to the custom field and we're going to go to the annual revenue field. So that £41.66 is going to be timed by 0 0.1 if it's nil, 0 0.2 if it's a 10k turnover, 0.25 is 15k turnover. Now you might want to change these numeric multipliers, that's fine, you can do that. Or you might want to say, well actually I don't want to scope in stages of fives and tens, I want brackets of 0 to 85,000. And again, that's totally fine, you can delete, edit, type over, and change your numeric values, so you get the pricing that represents your firm at the moment.
what we have done is we've tried to put as many variation, varying factors in here for you as possible. We've spoken to lots of accountants how they price and their solutions, and we've taken all of those learnings and tried to come up with one most common practice that we have seen. We understand this does not and will not suit every firm, and that's why we've made this 100% editable, because we want Client Engager to work with you, not you to follow Client Engager and how it work with Client Engager. So as I've already said, you can add as many questions and as many fields here as you like. Once you've added all the different categories and questions you want to ask with the different multipliers, then you're able to come in and build out your various formulas. If you wanted to get rid of all of these, for example, and times it by uh, bookkeeping frequency, for example, you can select the bookkeeping frequency and insert it here. And now it's going to be £41.66 times by the annual revenue times by the bookkeeping frequency. Or you could, if you want to divide something, you put divide as a dash, a slash. If you want to plus something, you can add plus. If you want to minus something, you can add minus sign. I'm going to cancel all that. The majority of all of these are based on a base rate. So, for example, it is a base rate times by various factors plus the sales base rate times by various factors. It's all very similar to the way you would work in Excel with your brackets, your multiplications, your pluses, your minuses, and your brackets again. So, we'll cancel that. The only other example I wanted to show you was payroll because payroll is built on a £2.50 per person fee but what we've done which you may want to change is we've done bracketing as an example for you to understand how that would work. So we've put 1, 2 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30 and so on and so forth. You may want to scrap all of this and just have a number where you enter the number of employees. And that's absolutely fine. Again, it's all customizable to suit you and your needs. So that's the pricing field and the pricing tool. We understand this is a bit more of a complex tool than we've delivered so far. So please feel free, by all means, to get in touch at contact at engager.app if you've got any questions about this. And we'll be able to also book in some one-to-one -one uh, video sessions where we can help you structure this to suit you. The most important part is not to just go out and use this straight away. Make sure the pricing methods and the t multipliers suit you and your business first. Test it, run some current clients by it, and see what happens, what outcomes that you get, and then you can make adjustments to suit your business. Also, just because we've launched this doesn't mean you can't keep carrying on doing what you were doing, where you go to clients, you go into your client, you go to services, you turn on a service, and you enter the fee manually. That is still a possibility, but we've just take, given you a next step if you want to use a pricing calculator. So, hopefully that answers most of the questions, but please, as I say, do feel free to get in touch if you need any further support.